Hey guys, we are back, Mateus G here. We're gonna show you guys how to install this community created physics engine update and match engine analysis. It has been going around. A lot of big YouTubers have commented on it. I think it could be something that might, you know, interest you guys. Also, you know, something different whilst we wait for FM26. Now that FM25 has been cancelled. So, I found this Reddit by just typing uh, FM match engine update on Reddit. Um, but you'll I'll leave the link in the description. But we have this, and this was a big post that caught up a lot of attention. Uh, for those that you don't know, it was it from created from a Chinese uh, FM player that posted it. Uh, they posted the link that takes you to this website here. You can translate it to English and have a little read. Um, it's a lot of well, he had to go in and do a lot of things that we all not won't go into details about it shows you how to also get it um, but we want the second uh, version for me this one did not work it might work for you um, but I, if I click on this link it doesn't work for me for some reason if we translate it to English I click download it does not work so I'm gonna go through the other way of doing this which is if you go here it's from the FM Arena. This th has a problem as well. It has ad block, so I I couldn't get into it. But you can disable your ad block. I won't because I actually have already got this. But basically, I'm gonna refresh the page and just show you. Uh, basically, you want to get this the second link here. You can see it on here hi highlighted version 2 of 2025 newer version so I'm going to refresh it one more time just click on the link it will come up with this and you want to hit download I already have it downloaded uh, as you can see here um, after we download this we gotta find where uh, this is on our computer so I have another page open which is in program files we're gonna go back we're gonna go back to this PC. You go to your PC. This is where it's on my computer. I couldn't find uh, it, like on the forum itself. It said um, where I could find it on the on the Chinese uh, post. I could not find it for some reason. It says Steam games, Steam apps common. For me, it's a different. It's kind of similar, but a little bit different. Um, and then here it just says go to uh, F Football Manager data. But it doesn't go into too much detail. So I go to this PC, a local disk C, uh, program files, x86 for me, Steam, and then I go to Steam Apps, Common, and then I find Football Manager 2024, and then I go to Data, and then uh, I will find the file here that says SI, um, which let me open the other one. I open the download so I can just have a little look. Um, so I find the one that is here. So SI match FMF. Uh, I did this already, so don't see it on here though. Anyways, just you can. I would suggest uh, saving, taking this one out of your computer and putting it somewhere. So for me, I have it out here on my just. On my second monitor just this is the one that football manager this one that I just downloaded is the updated one from the community created one so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag it in here and that is it so then let's close this up uh, let me refresh it so make sure it's in there yep so it's right here SI match so we're gonna, I'm gonna close that now and now I'm gonna load up football manager really quickly so now we are on football manager and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to preferences and we're gonna just um, clear cache um, I would say and then just just reload the skin just just for good measure just so it gives it a little refresh you know don't have to but it should automatically work and I'm going to wait this out takes a while and then I'll get you guys back I'll show you guys how it is in a game so we're about to jump into a game in my Londrina save that I'm doing right now. Um, basically, the whole thing of this match engine uh, update is to make the game look a little bit more realistic. Um, 
Look more like football, a little bit, a little bit better, you know. Uh, but we're gonna have a little look here. Um, so I think the game does it look clearer? It does. I, f I feel for me the lighting it looks better. Maybe it's just me. Um, but it's meant to look, make the goals look a little bit more realistic, and the football, and how the ball is playing around, and how the football isn't glued to the players. Uh, let's see if we, I mean, oh, nice take there. Yeah, it's an important game for us. Nice tackle there by Leon. Oh man, I f that was that was a goal and a half. I don't think I've ever seen a goal like that in the normal match engine. It's really a beautiful tackle. For example, I don't. That is a very clean tackle. Let's have a look here, Enzo. Oh, my goalkeeper should have saved that for sure, but. Um, Pretty cool to see a goal like that. Leon. Oh. Dang. That was a, a belter. Um, yeah. Well, we'll see. I mean, I've definitely seen a few things. Definitely looks like the ball looks smoother. Like, not as clunky. As clunky. Um, well, we're here just to, you know. Okay. The goal is to make the game real, more realistic. XG also, I think there tends to be more goals in this, um, in this type of, in with this match engine. So I think it's said to be more goals. It's one nil right now, so not producing too many goals. But there's been a lot of shots and a lot of highlights. There are not essentially a lot of goals. Usually key highlights are a lot of goals, and this time around hasn't been looking like that. So, yeah, I'll just go for the first half of you guys. Uh, now, let's go see the second half. You guys can skip to the end of the video. Let me know if you think this has made a big difference for you guys. For me right now, I mean, I'm just trying to... I don't... I usually simulate, so I don't... I, it's kind of... I mean, I think the game looks a little bit nicer. My goalkeeper's been making some blunders this game, though. Uh, but we're playing against a, a very good team. A good Chelsea team. And we're not a, a very good team. So, I mean, we've survived relegation twice in a row. That's how barely survived. Last season, 10 points. This season, we'll see how we do. Um, Joe Felix, stealing possession. Very nice ball out there. Okay can definitely have a little small small little tells like that cross was was not the most accurate cross the key highlights are so long as well and that's a, a mistake that you usually you see in the game but not like that so you can definitely see a lot of change let me go guy let me know if you guys enjoyed the video leave a like and comment I'm gonna be out with another uh, video for the laundrina series coming out soon